Hello, welcome to Super Serious Cooking. Uh, today we've got a bunch of bagels, and uh, we got some cream cheese. I don't know if you know this, the only acceptable way to eat a bagel is with cream cheese. Let's take care of that now. Okay. So, in order to eat our bagel, we're going to have to cut it in half. We're not going to be crazy and just slather cream cheese all over it. No, no, no. First thing you want to do is you want to turn it on its side, and we're going to try not to cut our hand in half. Okay, your bagel's in two. The next thing you want to do is, it's out of frame, we're going to put it in this toaster. Or wave goodbye to it. Okay, so our bagel's now toasted. Uh, we're going to, instead of using a knife for the cream cheese, we're going to use a spoon so we can use the back side of it and nicely spread it around. Now, the important part is to make sure the cream cheese is relatively pliable and not a solid brick before you do this. So, I didn't think of that ahead. And I decided, you know, it's going to take a solid one minute to uh, become pliable. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. That's what it looks like when it's done. Make sure you put cream cheese on most of the surface area. Otherwise, you're just eating boring bagel, even though it is jalapeno cheddar. It's not as good without cream cheese than it is with cream cheese. Okay, thanks for watching Super Serious Cooking. Uh, this week, we showed you the only way to prepare a bagel. Uh, you can argue that, like, butter is good, you're wrong, or uh, flavored cream cheese is good. Flavored cream cheese is okay, it is acceptable, but it's not as good as the original. Just plain. We'll win out every time. Okay, I'll catch us next week when uh, hopefully it's not a million degrees outside. And, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll do other stuff with cooking. Unless we don't. Okay.